But what I want you to know, and it's really important, is that sometimes people don't change until they really understand the importance of changing. I've seen that happen time and time again. Once people get how important it is to change, miracles are possible. You change first. Tip over the first domino, and you will be amazed at what will happen, happen next. And I'll tell you something else. When I tell people this, you know what they say to me? Why should I always have to be the one to change? <laughs> you're laughing because you've said that. Or you're laughing because you've thought that. That is such a waste of time. You know, I want to tell you that I like to have my life nice. I like to be pleased. I like to be happy. I like people to do things for me. But I'm always willing to tip over the first domino, not because I'm selfless, because I expect the other dominoes to fall. I expect to get in return. I would never suggest that you sacrifice yourself and all your needs by being the one to do all the work. I'm just suggesting you start because I can guarantee that you will get in return. Otherwise, you'll just stop. I realize that you'll just stop. So you're not the only one to change. You're not the one to change. You're the one to tip over the first domino. And you'll get back in spades. And what we're talking about now is justifying why you do that. Right? And you've got lots of reasons. I'll tell you something. The thing that you do to solve this problem is the most logical thing to do. But hello, it's not working. Should we give each other feedback about how we're doing? Are we making progress? Where are we going? So here's my answer to that. Yes, if you've done the work and you've come up with solution-oriented goals, you should definitely share it with your spouse. Share it together. Make sure you know in no uncertain terms, in concrete, actionable terms, what you need and what your spouse needs in order to feel like you're making progress. So do that now. Just did it. <laughs> that, that's how he ended up here. <laughs> it's the just do it philosophy. Nike's on to something here. Okay, just do it. In the do less of what isn't working section, I call it the do nothing technique. It's one of my favorite techniques. If you are a fix-it addict. Every time something goes wrong, you feel like you need to do something about it. This is, you better listen up because this is really, really important. You got this man here today. I don't know how you did that. Or did he get you here? He got you here, okay? So relationship change is important to him. Why not assume, this is remember the act as if, why not assume that today, this workshop, this moment, can be a turning point in all of your lives? You've learned some new skills. You can go home and apply it. You can make a decision to be more conscious and more loving and take into account your spouse's needs. Why not choose to allow this to be that turning moment? And I suspect it can be, but you have to give him the benefit of the doubt. I just want to take a minute to re-emphasize a point here because I think it's so important. Very often when I'm doing two-day intensives with couples, one spouse will acknowledge that they have made some mistake or that they're willing to do things differently in the future or that they're sorry, they're contrite. And their partner, as if it wasn't even said, will just keep complaining about the problem, keep complaining about what they're unhappy about as if it never happened. And when that occurs during a session, I stop for a moment and I will say to the person who didn't acknowledge the apology or the plan to do things differently in the future, I'll say, wait a minute, did you just hear what your spouse said? They may say yes. And I'll say, well, the best thing for you to do at this point, instead of complaining about what hasn't been working, is to acknowledge that point to thank your partner for saying that and to allow your partner's apology to channel the conversation in a new and more productive direction. 
When one person extends an olive branch to the other partner, it's really important that the other partner hears it, acknowledges it, and moves forward.